you, each of you. Do you actually... Nina, who was in Ukraine when the war started, is grateful for the help provided by sympathetic Poles. We just keep saying thank you. Safe in Krakow, Nina worries about her friends and family back in war-torn Ukraine. But her family, she says, insisted that she leave. It was really hard to leave. My parents are still in Ukraine. They'll be there till the end. They keep fighting as volunteers. But I was really happy to find these guys here to go to the process with them. They're really dedicated and I know that we are doing an important thing here. Part of that is countering Russian propaganda, which makes its way to Poland in various ways, according to Nina's friend, Alexander. Even in Poland we have such people who didn't believe that we have a war, that it's Ukrainian, a, lo a lot of lies, lies everywhere. Uh, dear visitors, thank you very much for being present here at this rally. Adrian Harasim is a Ukrainian who now lives in Canada, but came here to help refugees. My heart is literally, almost literally bleeding right for, for all these stories that I have heard. Of. He says some foreign tourists have promised to press their governments to do more for Ukraine. His message to any Poles who might be skeptical is that this is their fight too. Ukraine is fighting not just for Ukraine but also for Poland. Because if Ukraine would fall in three days, uh, like uh, Poland would be next. Alexander says this is also a fight for democracy everywhere. But we should demand to all governments, to all presidents, to all people around the world to help Ukraine, to talk about this war, not to forget. With flags, speeches and songs, Alexander and his friends try to make sure people here and everywhere do not forget Ukraine. Greg Flakus for VOA News, Krakow, Poland.